This is the Dasher Go Forestry Station in Heilongjiang. There's a hiking trail nearby where hikers can traverse ice and snow to reach a virgin forest. The hiking trail was created this year. Exploring the snowy forest is quite a workout, as deep snow makes some areas harder to traverse. It's full of fun. I really love it. It's more interesting than I'd imagined. I hope more people can come here and experience the beauty and the challenges. Hao Yunshuang, a former forestry worker at the Weixing Forestry Station, now drives a horse and buggy, showing tourists around a nearby village. I used to do logging transportation. Last year, logging was stopped, and the forestry station started to develop tourism. I bought this horse and started showing tourists around. I wear these clothes to make it a little more fun. Song Xiaoguo used to be a veteran timber worker at the forestry station. Now he's a ski instructor. Here, Song can be seen teaching a child from Beijing how to ski. The little boy learned how to ski on his own in just two hours. Song said he's quite happy with his new job. In the past, my job was just chopping down trees, sometimes in snow that was over one meter deep. It was really tough, but teaching folks how to ski is quite easy. Since I'm working in the tourism industry now, I need to serve our tourists as best I can. Jia Chao, a tourist from Beijing, decided to spend his vacation visiting this village. He said the village's beautiful scenery and tasty food, as well as the kindness and hospitality of its residents, made a big impression on him. My son jumped right into the snow as soon as he saw it. He's been really happy. We chose to stay at a local farm. The people here are really hospitable. The changes happening in Heilongjiang are experimental in nature, but are expected to take place in China's other major forest areas in the future. Since large-scale logging began, at least 600 million cubic meters of timber has been cut down. This long period of excessive logging caused forests to shrink in the early 1980s. Many have blamed this shrinkage for ensuing droughts and floods. Data indicates that two major forest areas in Heilongjiang have retreated more than 100 kilometers northward. The area's wetlands have also shrunk in half. Soil has eroded and floods, droughts, and forest fires have occurred more frequently. This crisis prompted the Chinese government to take action. It drew lessons from severe flooding seen in 1998 and has invested about 100 billion yuan to protect existing forests and convert cultivated land into forests or pastures. The logging ban represents the government's latest effort to combat deforestation.